preparing the latest front line in the state's ongoing flood emergency. More than 700 people in Wagga Wagga are under evacuation orders. For the Dawsons, it's their third flood scare in just four months. You don't close your door because they tell you to leave it open and you just drive off and you think, well, what am I coming back to? The Murrumbidgee River is approaching major flood levels for the first time in a decade. In North Wagga, the pub is closed, school is out and sandbagged in. The river could peak just 10 centimetres below the township's levee tomorrow afternoon. With the 9.8, it's unlikely that levee will be overtopped, but we'll continue to monitor conditions. Across the state, 23 emergency flood warnings are in place. Many of our river systems are in significant flood, particularly the Lachlan, the Murrumbidgee, uh, and the Murray. Major flooding has returned to Forbes in the central west. Only this time the town is preparing for a flood peak not seen in 70 years and more than 1,000 people have been told to evacuate. Being a little bit high, we're going to see water in areas that we haven't seen for a while. Um, they are talking 1952 since we last saw this sort of body of water. We've just lifted stuff up and I've put stuff I've got aloft and lifted stuff up on pallets. 92-year-old Leo Peach was here for the 52 flood and still remembers what it did to his old place at the same site. The water went through the hallway about 18 inches deep, right through that house, the old one, out through the backyard, across Bandon Street to the next neighbour over there. Road access into North Wagga will be cut off by floodwaters by this evening and the suburb will be isolated for about four days. This prolonged major flooding is being seen across the state and there's still a long road ahead for weary communities. Penny Burfitt, ABC News, Wagga Wagga.